ELISA is short for enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. ELISAs can detect whether specific proteins are present in a sample of serum or supernatant. A sandwich ELISA captures antigen with one antibody, then detects the captured antigen with a second antibody that is labeled with an enzyme. These two antibodies must bind to different epitopes on the antigen. In any ELISA, Blake's and standards positive and negative controls are run alongside the samples. A positive control is a sample that is known to have antigen present. A negative control has no antigen present. Standards are a set of antigen samples at a range of known concentrations. Blanks and negative controls have no antigen present and provide a background value that is subtracted from the sample values. ELISAs are run in 96 well plates like this one. A multi-channel pipette can be used to load multiple wells at a time. Coat a 96 well plate with the capture antibody, diluted in coating buffer or PBS. Incubate the plate for the time specified by the instructor. Wash the plate with an ELISA washer to remove excess coating antibody. Remember to turn on the vacuum for the washer beforehand. To remove drops of water left on the plate after washing, tap the face down plate against a paper towel. Block the plate with BSA and PBS or another blocking agent. Blocking saturates nonspecific binding sites on the plastic, thus ensuring that antigen binds to the capture antibody and not to the plastic. Cover and incubate the plate. Wash the plate with an ELISA washer to remove any unbound blocking agent. Add test antigen or sample with possible antigen. Run samples in triplicate. When running in ELISA, always run a set of standards, blanks, and positive and negative controls. Cover and incubate the plate. Wash plate in the ELISA washer to remove unbound antigen. Add conjugate to the wells. Conjugates are enzyme-labeled antibodies directed toward an epitope on the antigen different from the epitope the capture antibody binds to. The enzyme horseradish peroxidase is a common label for antibodies used as ELISA conjugates. Cover and incubate the plate. Wash plate to remove excess conjugate. Add substrate to the wells. The substrate will react with the enzyme to produce a colored end product that can be measured in a spectrophotometer. The amount of color produced is directly proportional to the amount of antigen present in the test sample. After adding substrate, incubate the plate until color forms. This is an example of a plate that has been incubated with substrate. 
After the plate has incubated according to instructor's directions, read the plate with a spectrophotometer. Turn on the machine, place the plate inside, set the machine to read at the instructor specified wavelength. When you are finished reading the plate, print your results and take the plate out.